Hi there, <clears throat> it's Tanya from Tutter Treasures. Hello and welcome back. If you're new, then welcome and welcome aboard. Um, today I am here to do the second week in Roxy, Rachel from Roxy Creations, um, Roxy Weekly Challenge. And this week, it's with paint. Now, I've put this off <laughs> because one, all I owned at the beginning was a brown and a gold. Um, and that's it. And I was like racking my brains. What can I do? Um, when I went shopping, I um, managed to get some green. So, <clears throat> who knows what this is going to turn out like. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. So, I've got some messy mats because um, I feel that this is going to be messy. Um, so what I've got is these bases. Now these was at, um, like a, a notepad. Um, I think it was from eBay. So they will need all backing and things. But I've inked all around them. And then I've got some uh, journal cards from an Artie Mays kit. And I've inked all around them. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I don't really know. Um, I am going to have to pause and let these dry and then come back and pause. So I will keep an eye on the actual timer because it, it is a 45 minute uh, challenge. So we shall see. Um, so I'm going to get one of those. And I'm going to just put some paint down. I've not opened this because it's brand new. Let's just take that off. So it, these paint, these they look really dark. So I am a bit nervous. Sorry, I've got a bit of a foil in my mouth. So I'll put that there. And I won't put the gold out yet because I'm going to have to leave to, to dry. So my thought is I'm going to dab it on with some bubble wrap. I have no idea what this is going to look like. So we shall see. So I'm thinking I'll dob them all with green first, uh, with brown first, let them dry and then um, dab them with, oh gosh, here goes, um, and then dab them with green. So it gets better the, the less that comes out. So what I'm going to do is dab it on the actual mat and you're not going to see a lot of it because <clears throat> like the journal card is going to cover a lot of it and that's what I've ended up saying to myself like well does it matter actually what it looks like because you know you're going to see very little of it so at least I know what bubble wrap looks like. I can say I've seen people do it with, with ink. Um, I'm thinking I could probably mix these with water and have a more runny consistency. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, obviously I don't want to be getting it all over me, my desk. I'm not really set up for um, mess and chaos. <laughs> Oh dear, and this is probably why I don't paint. I quite like that when it's really quite, quite faint. I'm going to have to do the other two on here. Like so. And then I've obviously put far too much paint out have fun uh, cleaning this. I think I might just dip it in in the bath first just to get the the majority of it off. So I'm going to pause now. Um, we've been about three minutes. 
Okay, so the green I have just sprayed with, with a little bit of water, you can see. So I'm just going to dob in with the green. Oh, I quite like that. Like so. Couldn't believe it when I saw a, a second video. I thought, oh my goodness, if I'd have seen the second one. Uh, before I'd have started the challenge, I would have said, oh, I'm not doing that. But I now know what bubble wrap looks like. And I quite like it. So, that is that. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to leave it to dry and then I'm going to go in with some gold. Okay, then probably <coughs> try, excuse me, dried enough to do the next um, thing. So I'm just obviously only going to put a tiny bit of gold because I put far too much paint down. And I just want a dab here and there. Like so. Oh, I like that. So I'm going to have to wait for it to dry again. Um, and then I'm going to go in and do a little bit of stamping. Yeah, you can't just going in, going out, going back in kind of got a rhythm now it's definitely a lot better with not a lot of uh, paint do I'm gonna dry these off and then I shall be shall be back okay I'm back I think they ain't dry dry enough so I'm gonna use some text script on and some leaves on I don't know what to do first I think I'll put the text on uh, first so I'm using the stays on timber brown um, I did on Manara about using the, the black, but I don't want it to stand out, stand out. It's, you know, just... But I don't want to totally cover it because <clears throat> I want, you know, to still see what it was kind of underneath. This is really different for me, but I actually quite like it. Um, it's funny, I, I've just took the mat into the bath and uh, just, you know, rinsed it off to get the main uh, paint off it. And the water that it produced was lovely. It was a really mossy um, green colour because obviously the brown went into the the green um and if it hadn't been paused on on a video i was gonna run and get some papers and like uh soak some papers in so yeah i think this has probably made me uh not so so afraid but i find it hard to find time to to experiment <clears throat> and that is the good thing about doing some of the challenges as much as you perhaps don't, you know, you think, oh, do we have to? <laughs> um, it, it does get you to use 
other things. Um, I've not been able to be any more adventurous because I don't have any more paint. Um, and I don't think, you know, I'm not fooling anybody. I'm not going to then become a painter. Um, but I think I could definitely mess about with the, the green and brown um, again. Um, and I did think if I wasn't filming as well, I wouldn't have minded just splattering paint um, on the backs. Um, which obviously I wouldn't have been able to do at my desk. I would have done it in the bath. And hope that nobody finds out. <laughs> My fella would eat the roof. I said, oh, I've been there uh, painting in the bath. <laughs> he would think I'd, you know, finally lost it. So that's those. I really like that. I suppose I could have created the same kind of thing if I'd have done it with, with inks. Um, but that wasn't the challenge so I'll put that back um, so now I've got this leaf and I'm using the olive green which again is a, a stays on and I'm just gonna because I'm not gonna see a lot of, of the middle And uh, have a look how that would yeah yeah I like that mm -hmm. you might see me <laughs> with my cling film uh, not cling film bubble wrap again with my paints oh that's nice mm, it's got a really nice feeling to it um yeah, I'm loving it. And I think with that touch of gold, um, kind of, well, I don't know what it kind of does, but it kind of does something. So thank you very much, Rachel, for dragging me out of my uh, comfort zone. <laughs> I bet she thought if she did the second week, I bet she thought this'll this will show them. <laughs> uh, this will make them sweat. So I've just watched um Joanna's from um I think a junk journal treasures. Um and she like me is, you know, not a painter, um, not really got much experience um in it. And yeah, I'm gonna say she had a real good, good bash at it. Um, and I thought she was really brave with with what she uh, tried. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna say I've been trying to rack my brains for the last couple of days, thinking, what am I gonna do? Some of those aren't totally dry. I can see that that one has still got some wet. I think that one has as well. Let me just put those singly. Um, and I know Gail's doing the uh, challenge. I don't think she's put up the, the paint one yet. And there's another, well, I'm sure there's lots of people, but obviously people who, who I follow. Um, I think her name's Eileen um, something. I'm sorry if... Um, you know that I don't know your name, um, and I have got that on my um, watch later um, list. So I think they're the only people so far that that I've, that I've seen, and obviously Rachel herself. So I'm thinking she's going to get fabrics out next, isn't she? And I'll be doing some slow stitching or something. Oh my goodness. Right, let's put that away. So we're at 15 minutes. Um, now, I'm going to get some brown paper. 
think I've got some tissue somewhere. I wanted to be really, well, I'm, I'm obviously being really childish because I'm telling you. I wanted to go, a chew, a chew, a chew. Anyway, so I've got some, um, <laughs> I'm not even saying it again. Some of that brown stuff. And I've got some, oof, if I can pick it up. I've got some green handmade paper. So I was going to layer the pictures upon on those. So let's get my um, tearing ruler out. So I'm just going to put it around the image. Can I get two out of <coughs> each one? Yes. Now this is normally really tough to... Oh, that's not too bad. Some of them, um, the fibres make it really tough. Oh, see, it won't rip up. Ooh, make it really tough to <laughs> to rip, as I'm showing. Oh, yeah, that's really tough. That's better. I've got it folded in half. So that's that. I'll just put it up against that. Okay. There, so that's one. Let's get rid of that pointy bit. So that's that one. That will do for that one. Right, sorry, I have to pause there. Um, Ryan's just, well, he's on his dinner, but I say dinner, it's about two o'clock. He's uh, not had a great day, so wanted to tell me all about it um, so it'll be going back to work in a minute I want to make sure it's stop ranting and raving before I turn the video back on because um, yeah it's not it's not a happy bunny but it's very stressful um, working conditions at the moment I'll go down that one so I'm not sure if I'm going to put the brown paper in front of the green or the green behind. But I'm thinking if I put the brown behind, it might be then too too wide um, for the actual base that it's going on. So I shall have a look in a minute. Yep. I think I'm not going to quite have enough for these. Two more. What's that one? Yeah, I'll have to make make it work. So, make, just rip that down. What's that one? <coughs> and then that's that one. Let's just rip that a little bit at the side. Just doing it with my fingers, I think. Right, that's that one. <coughs> Um, let's see what it looks like on. Oh, I do like that. So, what have I done with that tissue? It's over here. Try and get a strip work and then I can rip it down a bit more manageable. Probably gonna want two strips, so I might as well rip them. Sorry, like um, tea bag. 
Oh, yeah, I love it. So, I'm going to start. I was going to say a Julie word then. Dobbing it down. Get it dobbed down. Now, originally, I was going to do it to, um, to the corner, but I like it like that. So, you can't actually see that much of the background anyway. If it had a turned out a render switch, I don't think it has. I'm quite happy with that. Um, to say I couldn't really envision anything. Because I kept thinking, like, what's, you know, bubble wrap in paper? Uh, in paper? In paint? Oh, I shall start again. <laughs> what's paint going to look like? put on with bubble wrap and then a bit of stamping um yeah I, I could not see that in in my eye mind's eye <laughs> so that's that one i'm going to leave them um as square ones but um i would probably out of time but i will be putting a hole in the middle then I'll probably put a bit of brown card there and then put an eyelet through. So that's one. <clears throat> I can't remember where I got this tissue from I think I picked it up like at the post office or something like that can't do that off centre a little bit so I'll just put a bit there just to catch the tissue like so I could possibly ink on this um, unmade paper but I'm not going to I don't think it, it needs it kind of look like the fresh look that, that it's given I want to just put that off centre a little bit I love the sound and feel. Really love that background. I'm surprised the colours are so nice. I thought they'd be pretty nice because you know, one of them, the green one was just from the supermarket, you know, in the kids' um, toy aisle kind of thing. Should we do that straight or off centre? I'm going to do that a little bit off centre. So I think Roxy has been doing her challenge on, on a Monday. So I won't have many days until her next one comes out. I'm going to say I <coughs> spent not long thinking about it. And then we have to wait till I went to the supermarket to see if it um, got green and green paint because I've obviously only been going out <coughs> once a week with uh, lockdown
thought they might have just had you know bright yellow bright red but um yeah obviously green's the primary color too so but it's a good job i needed the green and not the brown because there wasn't there wasn't any brown This is beautiful. Colours on that tag's really nice as well. The yellow is really subtle, just not very vintage. How many more? We've got three more. Oh, happy. I think I've got some chocolate brown um, <coughs> linen card so it's got a really nice um, texture to it so I think I'll cut some strips of that out to put on the top of the tag but before I do that I'm going to have to back them so that's that one more. I don't think I'll get a chance to, to back them all. We've got about 17 minutes. Brown's still a bit wet at the top. Leave that <coughs> to one side. Right, last one. at the bottom of here because I've just ripped it uh, too short and so that's, that's the last piece I've got well no I've obviously got more but I don't want to rip into it for the last one 
so if you've got bits hanging about they're bound to get uh, screwed up and that they just stick That's that one. Just clear this off. <clears throat> and get some cream. Oh no, let me use my um, card that I've got hanging about. That was brown on both sides, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I want it. Oh, I could hear my mother then going, <laughs> saying that. Wasn't it? Not want it. Right. I don't know if that's going to be too thick. Yep. Too, too thin. Sorry. That should escape and <laughs> fix in blanket, that's from Christmas. It's just the right size. So. save that for something. I don't know what, but I'm sure I'll find something. This was my Christmas roast potatoes. <laughs> That was very nice, that was. I'm saying, I have to be careful, like, I was going to say the gluten free, that one was, but not all meringue is. Cause I always do think when I see these meringue rolls and that, oh yeah, to be gluten free, but <clears throat> when you actually look, not all of them. Oh, but this one was, and it was very, very nice. I made a Black Forest um, trifle as well. I do love Black Forest flavour. The red fruits. So I prefer the red fruits to the, to the oranges and that. And I think <coughs> the oranges um, are more fattening, got more sugar in. Or is that? Yes, yes it is. Because um, I can remember when I was doing, um, I used to have smoothers a lot. Um, and I remember reading about it. I'm not going to put one on that bit. It's a bit, it's a bit bashed. Right, I've got two more. This isn't my pie, this was for Ryan and Eleanor. Because they've not had pie for a long time. 
I'll say I've never seen a big gluten-free pie before. So sometimes I can manage to get out of a little frozen one, but they, they're not very good. I want to really buy just some gluten-free pastry and, and make my own. It's going to um, like a, a pub restaurant and they used to do <coughs> gluten-free pie. Oh, it was lovely. I'm going to do that on the, the crease. Right, I'm going to pause again because I can hear that Ryan's going to be going back to work. So he'll be wanting to say bye. Right, I'm back. I have actually just cut three out with that um, saying bye um, to him. I was just mindlessly uh, cutting as he was <laughs> saying bye. And then after I thought, oh, I'm supposed to be doing these on camera. So I've cheated a little bit. I feel like I've done nothing but go on and off, but I'm sure nobody wants to see me um, <clears throat> drying the painting in each stage. Sorry if I'm totally off camera, but this card's quite thick, so I'm having to bring it quite near to me. So what's that? I'm going to chuck that because um, that is quite creased. Yeah, I'm going to ink all around these again so you can't, well, to disguise the, the sides of of the card that I've put on. So that's those. Um, let's get me ink out. I wish I'd have made more. I, w I should have really saved that paint. Because um, I really do like them. Dog's trying to get upstairs. I don't know if you just heard him clawing at, at the door. He'll be wanting to tell me that his, his dad's not here anymore. I'm saying I'm just downstairs on the computer doing her schoolwork. I think she's nearly done for the day. It's not taking her like nine till three. She's normally done about two, two o'clock and she... I think she has half an hour for dinner or 45 minutes. And then I think she gets a 10 minute break as well somewhere. So she seems to have settled into it quite well. So she's had a few live lessons. She's got live tutor uh, period in the morning. So that means she's got to be at a computer for 10 to 9. Whereas the other days, if she's not actually got um, a live lesson first thing, she's normally on there by half past 9. Reaching out that brown card. <coughs> I don't think I'll have time to, to finish the whole lot off. I think I've got five minutes. 
left because we're at 40 now so if I finish at 45 then that'll make up for because uh, obviously I was two minutes at the start saying what I was doing and stuff but that'll make up for um, cutting them when my timer wasn't on Right, so that's all those inked up. And just push those to one side a minute. I've got my pin in. Nope. We'll need that again in a minute. So that's those. I'm just going to get my trimmer out. Um, what have I done with my folder? It's got papers on it. So, yeah, you can, you can see the um, texture in it. So, I'm thinking. I think I want it. Let's go. Right, I'm cutting it an inch. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. So we'd kind of want them. Right, so one, two, three. So let's say you can get three on each one. So I will cut three. And then I'll have enough. I don't think this is straight. So that's that. <coughs> Move that out of the way. Right. Do I want it going over or do I want it? I think I want it higher up. So that can go there. Let's cut one off. Centralise it as much as possible, and then probably done it a little bit too big. I'll do the next one smaller. I like the thickness though. So let me <coughs> show you what I'm going to do with this one, and then time will be up, and I'll do this off camera. So I want to try and centre that. Get my eyelets. Still using that, even though I've got the <laughs> crocodile. Um, yeah, I've not had a chance to see how it works. So that's that, and then I would probably. I don't know if I would use this baker's twine. I'd perhaps like that, so I'm going to put that. Hat. Don't want it. I don't know if it'd suit a bow or not. Let's have a look. Right, we've just hit 45 minutes. I 
quite like it with the bow. So I'll do the next one longer. So that's those. <clears throat> I shall take a photo and put those in the thumbnail of the video. And I will put some photos up on, on Instagram and on Patreon and on my Facebook. I still haven't got a group. I've got a page. So that's it for me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to say, and anybody who's really, you know, not very confident with paying, honestly, if I, if I can do it, um, you can. And I'm really, I'm really happy with the with the results. I think it looks really nice. So I shall see you again very soon. Bye for now.